Hello everyone, welcome back to NFTV. Newcastle Fans TV. Right, hello everyone. England's squad has been already selected, but we don't agree on that. So we're going to pick our England squad, what we think should have went to the Euros. Harry's got the list, he's got the goalkeepers to begin with. Harry, rattle through who we got on that list. Uh, so the keepers are Pickford, Johnson, Darlow, Henderson or Ramsdale. Josh? Henderson number one for me. Henderson number one? Henderson number one. I wouldn't take Pickford, he's too much of a liability. Not even for the links to us, he's just a poor goalkeeper. Has he had a good end of the season? Not Is that why he's in? He's in because he's one of Southgate's yes boys, isn't he? <laughs> Southgate loves him, he always loved him. <laughs> so I wouldn't take Pickford. Johnson is young, Ramsdale is young. I think Darlow deserves it on what he did at the start of the season, to be honest. I think he was fantastic at the start of the season. Unfortunately, he's got a keeper like Dubravka in front of him. Hence why he's been dropped off, because Dubravka is just different level. So, But I'd still take him, just for the experience for him. To see him Pope's in, Jad. Yeah. Because yeah. Pope yeah. would have probably pushed for number one. Mm -hmm. Harry, who would you go? Um, who are you picking? Yeah, Pick, Pickford um, probably has to go just because of his experience with England and the amount he's played for them. Um, Johnson made the most saves in the Premier League yeah. all season. And um, Darlow, obviously, with us, had a good first half season, but not quite. He didn't quite keep up the same level that he had been. Like, he'd, he'd been playing well, but if you. If you look into it, he hadn't quite been as good as everyone was thinking. Um, so I'd go for Henderson as as the third. Pickford, Johns, Johnson and Henderson for me. Adam? I'd have Henderson as my number one. Um, I agree with Harry Pickford. I, I agree with Josh as well. He's been rubbish, but Pickford's got the experience in the squad. He's been there a lot of years now. Um, so Henderson's my number one. Pickford is my number two. And then I'd have Johnson as well, because he's had a good season, but he's, he's still conceded a lot of goals. But... I think Pickford in there just for his experience rather than uh, being a Magum. I think we're being outvoted then, Josh. I think uh, Pickford's make the squad. So our three goalkeepers then are Johnson, Pickford, and Henderson. Defenders, go on then, Harry. We have got Tomori, Maguire, Dyer, Wambasaka, Alexander Arnold, Chilwell, Cody, Godfrey, Rhys James, Tyro Mings, Luke Shaw, John Stones. Trippier, Walker and Ben White. And how many do we need? We need eight. Eight of them? Yeah. Stones is a must. Stones? Any, any, anyone but Tyrone yeah. Minks for me. <laughs> Jesus, uh, you got, you got, you've got to have <laughs> Stones, probably Maguire. Maguire, I would agree. Um, Under Southgate thinking at least eight right backs. Mm. So for me, the would right backs them, Josh? that he's picked, no. Who would you leave? I would have probably left Trent out. Really? Yeah. Uh, RC is my first choice. And we've got to pause there, people, because at the time of filming, Trent Alexander-Arnold was still in the England squad and he hadn't have been ruled out by this stage. Hence why we're talking about Liverpool right back. Uh, the, he's a fantastic footballer, but he's had a poor season. See, I think he's better gives more than what Trippier does. No, it, for, no. Me, for me, you've got league winners, right? haven't you? No, he's, he's a oh, league come on, winner, I'm, league I'm sticking up for Trent. He, come on. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm with you. Oh, um, yes, I'm, he's, he's, had, he's had he's a bit like Newcastle. He had a all right start, shit middle, and he's had a good end to the season. And he's a set piece taker. Yeah. So I think, I think Trent's in there because he think, plays for. And to be honest, out at left field here, Trent and Wambasaka, you have one who can whip the balls in. And one who's going to play against France or Portugal, who can defend, Luke Shaw. also go forward a little bit. But I think Trent and Wambasaka. We'll come back to that. I think the two left backs were all, yeah, we're mm. fine with that. Chill well and Chill well and Chill, yeah, yeah all day Absolutely. Long. So there's four definites that we've got there. Who's the third centre back? For me, I'll go Cody. Yeah, I think he's got a bit more about him than the rest. He's got that experience, he's a captain at his club. Solid player. And that's what you need at international level, you need solid. So Cody, will I'm, everyone have I'm that? not quite as sure. As long as it's not Tyrone Mings, I'll agree with you. I'd like <laughs> um, Cody. Cody's um, he's shown for Wolves. He's not quite good enough four at the back, so it depends what formation he plays it's for three me. At the back, yeah. yeah. If it's three, Cody can go. That's fine. But if it's four at the back, I I'm think, not. I'm not with Cody. I'm afraid. I think that's a weak problem for England. Is yeah. goalkeepers, we centre backs, and we hold midfield, but we'd probably need a fourth centre back. How how so, Maguire is not fit though. I think we're relying too much on how Maguire being fit. He's, mm. he's definitely going to miss Croatia. So, mm -hmm. but I think because he's, 
yeah. there's, there's world class. There's, 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 there's still a couple of levels under. There's more like John Terry or Rio Ferdinand no. type oh, player there yeah. where you go, oh, I rely on them. Three apart. Yeah. 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 I, I, give I think it's the weakest England defence we've had in a lot of years. Yeah, I would agree on that. Who's the fourth? Sh Do you use Kyle Walker as your it's good cover, isn't he? He did well, well cop in that position. Or would you? <laughs> we're not going to go for Tyron Mings. Definitely not. <laughs> mm. Really, Tamori had a good season. Walker, Tamori, because no. Tamori was good in Milan. I would he have. Had a good season. I would have um, Tamori and Godfrey as the other two centre backs. Really, Ooh. Godfrey? Mm. Oh, I don't know about that. Kyle Walker's come. been excellent, excellent this season. Kyle Walker's been outstanding, yeah. and he, he played that position, but he, but he doesn't play in a four. Yeah. So I, I, if, you, if you want to play a four, he's going to play three five two though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's going to play three five. So he's going to play Kyle Walker as a wing back, or, let, or Trent as a wing back. I mm. think we're going to walk out centre back, and I'll probably play him. There's no way it's going to be flat right. back four because if you have wing backs bombing on, you can change to a four, and he can come over. I bring James in as well though. It's a good change to make. Like if you're bringing Cal, like as a wing back change, if you're bringing Kyle Walker off. And bringing James on, James will bomb forward as well. It's 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 a tight, it's a good chip. I know he gets a lot of stick for bringing five right backs in, but I think that that is um, his, his, his tactics are going to be his wing back changes. Yeah, I really do. Luke Shaw for Chilwell or vice versa. Full backs are going to be bombing on this Euros, and I, I think that's why he's done it. So and that's why he's dropped Lingard because I don't think he's going to be changing his number ten as much as he's going to be changing his wing backs. Mm. That's just me personally. How many would take Kyle Walker? I'll take Walker all, oh, all day. I would take him as a centre back, not not as a right back. Though. You got the option of both, though, haven't you? Yeah. Like he's that sort of player. He's matured as he's got older. And he's a league winner. Three. You have mm. to take league winners, wouldn't you? Yeah. You take them, Harry. Say no, but I'll uh, go that, with with <laughs> what we've got here, I wouldn't. But like all in all, I think he's a solid player, so, so I wouldn't be against six. it. Six, and then we've got two right backs to pick from. So if we've so taken Walker out the right back, it's right back. So it's it's between three, isn't it? Trippier, it's be, Trent, and James. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I want Trent Alexander-Arnold there. Mm. He's my first choice. Oh, and wan -Bissaka, sorry. Anyone uh, else for wan -Bissaka? wan -Bissaka doesn't go for me. No. No, sorry, Harry. <laughs> you vote, that vote. I think he's a fantastic <laughs> defender, as in defender, mm. but going forward, we do need to win games, and he's not for me going forward. I don't think he's a great defender. Actually. He's still learning, isn't oh, he? He's still he's young. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> I'll who, leave that there. He's no ML Who's a must out the, <laughs> Who's a must out the three right backs? Arnold and Trippier for me have to go. Trippier. For me, it's it's obviously Trent and Mombasaka, but I've been all voted. I think it's Trippier and Alexander Arnold, because no one's saying Miss James here. I mean, Trippier's I mean, got that. the experience, isn't he? And this is where mm. Southgate's got a headache, because James was the greatest crap on fullback as well, who's just won mm. the Champions League. He's not so a mug. Like, are we all agreeing James isn't going? Uh, see, now I'd take James over Alexander Arnold now you said that. See, I'd want Trent there. I would. Set pieces going forward. Trent's, had a, got Trent's had a shocking season, pieces. James had a great season, so uh, you, you've changed my mind there. So Trent, I'd, I'd take James and Trippier. I didn't mean to. I want Trent there. I think you take the champions, don't you? You can't not. He's won the champions. Harry, you've got the deciding vote. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd go for Reese James. Yes. Tri Tri Trippier's had a class season, but like. You're fitting well, are you? For, for me, he's, he's like. I'd, he lacks a bit of pace, doesn't he, which, which you need against the wingers. So it's Trippier and it's, James. It's Trent or James. Oh, it's Trent or James? Yeah, yeah Trippier's, it's Trippier's yeah. going. He's been, I've been outvoted. Trippier's oh, right. Um, <laughs> I'd go for Trent, me. There oh. he you go. Trent Alexander <laughs> makes our England squad. Harry, who's the midfield? So we have seven of Madison, Deli Alley, Hudson Adoy, Joe Willock, um, Jordan Henderson, Jude Bellingham, Mason Mount, Calvin Phillips, Declan Rice and James Ward Prowse. So, how many have we got to pick from? Um, it is seven. Nine. Seven. seven of nine. Seven from nine. Yeah. So, defensive midfield. Jordan Henderson, first choice. Is he definitely going? Is he for all you? And that hurts. <sighs> is he fit? Is he fit? He's, uh, he put, he's bad. Oh, he's back. He's in the last mm. experience. Bench. I think he's for, for, th for my first choice defensive midfield is Declan Rice, 100 percent over Henderson. I'd take Henderson. Experience, communication. But is he fit? Mm. And that's me too. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, he's a great player. But is he is he just there because he's an, a nice lad who's great to be on the team? Or is he going to play football? Well, the question is then. I think is he Cam will. Phillips better than the other two. No. No. There's your answer. Then. No. So I, I think you take, you take Henderson and Rice. Uh, so I don't see the big Rice loving. I don't. I don't get it. Oh, he's had a good Phillips. season. He's all right. He's had a, he's had a good season. I just I don't see the big rice loving. I think there's a mistake. No. I, I, would you have rice over here? No. 
I'd have Hayden in the squad every day of the week. Because yeah, Hayden's a better player. Rice and P, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take those two, are we? Yeah. Right. And then we've got the attack and li line up. Um, Mason Mount had a fantastic season. Has to go. Has to. Yeah, must be. Yep. So we're all unanimous. Right, mm -hmm. great. So there's three. Who else have we got on that list? We have um, Ward Prowse, Jude Bellingham, Madison, Ali, Willock, Hudson Adai. I'll take Bellingham all day long. Would you? Mm -hmm. I don't I think, think would he get quality. much game time? It's the same instance with what he did with Walcott though. Do you yeah. take him just for the experience and to build up that level Who, of he's coming his into the squad? He'd play CDM, wouldn't he? So it'd be Henderson and Rice. So he, he, he would be like um, slightly further forward alongside a Henderson a or a Rice. A yeah, yeah. So we're taking Henderson, Rice, Mount, Bellingham. Bellingham, so there's four. Even and if then, you're taking him just for experience, I mean, they're not all going to play. They're not even going to get a look in for most games. Just have him there, let him learn the ropes. Because he'd be learning off Henderson, which is a, it's good for him because Henderson's got that captain mentality, isn't he? So I'm not keen on Warprouse. I think no. Warprouse, no. is, his set pieces are good, but would you take someone just for set pieces? I don't think you would. Um, I mean, that one that scored Ali St. James this year was unbelievable, but he doesn't go, Deli Ali doesn't go. And then Hudson Adai, I'm not. No, no he's been, he, even when he did play, he was at right wing back. He's been such a massive disappointment to him. So that would leave. Madison. 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 I would take him from Wait, midfield. I, I wouldn't take him ahead of um, attacking forwards. If you played in the centre midfield or a little bit slightly ahead, uh -huh. mm. I wouldn't have him as your 10 or nothing like that. I think I've got other people. He does get in a team ahead of those players we've got planned for number 10. Yeah. But he'd probably sit nicely in the midfield as a sub coming on. Well, he is a number 10, though, isn't he? So, how many have we got listed there? Uh, we have. Is it nine? There's 10. There's 10 overall. I got so that who's wrong. Who's missing out? Ward Prowse. Mm -hmm. Deli Ali. Deli Ali. Deli Ali and Hudson Adai. Adai. Mm -hmm. And the rest, we're taking Joe Willock. And that, well, unless we change the numbers, we're going to have to take him. <laughs> Shall we take him just for the crack? Just because uh, he's a ladder. Take Newcastle fans need, TV, need, innit? Yeah. 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 He's on course for breaking Vardy's <laughs> record anyway. Isn't I, know, he, I, know, right? I know we're shy, but we need a Newcastle player in there, so Joe Willock will go. Sorry if you disagree on that. <laughs> um, and then forwards, we've got wingers who are classed as forwards now in your proper old school centre forwards. Uh, we're all going to say Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll just list them off. We've yeah. got um, eight of the following. We've got Kane, Wilson, Calvert-Lewin, Patrick Bamford, Danny Ings, Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho, Raheem Sterling, oh, some Ollie Watkins, there, Phil Foden and Jesse Lingard. How many do we get to? Eight. Average that, innit? Average. So you definitely take Kane. I think you need an alternate for Kane as your promise right now. So Calvert-Lewin. Mm. Over Wilson? It's yeah, injured. I would. Don't you? I'll take Calvert Lewin over Wilson. See, I think Calvert Lewin's. He's had a good season, but I think he's so overrated. I really do. He's scored more goals than Will and I. But he has, but he's, I just think he's overrated. For he's had a really poor. He had a really good first half of the season. Really good. Second half season, he hasn't done a lot. Like if you finished tenth, if you're going to compare, we're, we're, Wilson, only two, we're only two places behind, haven't we? I think you've got to compare Wilson with Watkins and Bamford. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I don't take them. I think if you look at Calvert Lewin, what did he do, what did he do before this season? Callum Wilson's done this for three or four years now in the Premier League, scored goal after goal. Do you know what you say that though? His last season for Bournemouth, he Wilson eight, was he? poor. Uh, he got no, eight. he was, he was, but he's been fantastic for us. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. What, what did Calvert Lewin him. do last season in this discussion? Second half of last season, he was yeah, fantastic. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it'd be interesting to see how Calvert Lewin performs under a new. I, I just don't yeah. forgive him for telling Jamal the he had bad breath in that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. And then we went. Take and then we won the game. Got the I game I'll take Calvin. I think Calvin will have to go. How are you and Green? On yeah, it? yeah. Sorry, I don't. Judas is. I take I Danny think, Ings as well. Having yeah. said that, if he if he was fit, I'd have Greenwood as the second striker. Yeah, I, he's in just a Portland team. We kind of take. Yeah. So we kind of take none of them. Sterling, he'll go. Yeah. Yeah. So Sancho. That's that? three. Kane, Harry. Kane, Harry. Kane. Calvert Lewin, San, uh, Sterling, Tanker. Rashford. Rashford yeah. has to yeah. go. Right. Yeah, there's four. Sancho has to go for me. Phil Foden. I'll have Foden over Sancho first. Or oh, every day. Every day. So Phil Foden. Mm. Phil Foden would be the first player. name on the team sheet. Yeah, he's ridiculous. So there's five. How are you all making a case for Sancho? Why? His numbers. Yeah. Numbers in the Bundesliga. Two Phenomenal. Yeah, ridiculous figures. Double assists, double goals, and double numbers. Uh -huh. Yeah, obviously you don't. We don't get to see him as much, but phenomenal. What you hear from him is. Has he produced it for England yet? Though that's the thing. That's all the, all the games I've mm. seen, he's not really been there or thereabouts. But he's a quality player, nonetheless. Yeah. And out of who's on that list, he he goes for me. 
So there's two. Are so you then two? there's two left. Adam? Who's left? So Sancho's six, isn't it? Mm. So then we've got um, probably looking at. I mean, mm. I think the season he's had, Danny Ings is on. Danny I would have Danny Ings. Yeah, Danny Ings. The over season Watkins. he's had. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100% over Watkins. 100% over Watkins. Danny Watkins Ings is again. another one I don't really see this big love no. He's all right. Would you take Ings over Wilson? Yeah. At the national yeah. level, I would. Ings, Wilson, then Calvert Lewin. Would you take Ings? See, he's there's, a, there's, a, there's a man missing off the list. Who have I missed? Jack Grealish. Oh, oh I'll take, take Grealish all day, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Yeah. He has to go. Sorry, Jack Grealish has to go. He's Grealish is in. Bring mm. the ball. Then Clark, can you imagine the filth? Grealish and um, Foden together. Yeah, Grealish, Grealish Foden, Mount. Yeah. Once, once we get a good manager, it might work. Yeah, I don't know how I've, how I've missed What do you Jack mean? Grealish. We've got the Bruce of International. So we've got one more to pick from. So it's out of what Watkins, Ings, uh, Bamford, and I tell you what, I've missed Saka. That's about it, isn't it? I missed Saka. Right right. No, but I, w I wouldn't take him. For me, it's Ing Ings or uh, Bamford. I think Bamford's been unlucky to miss on, on the squad, but they both earn it, haven't they? Really, Dan with Danny the Ings, 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 Ings just phenomenal Sancho. too. Seasons. He just gets the goals, doesn't he? Grealish, Rashford, chance in the box, and he's there. Who else did we say? Um, Foden. Foden, Foden, yeah. And then. Adam's pushing hard for Danny Ings. Danny Ings, yeah. Oh, 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 for me. I'm a Bamford. Because Bamf Bamford's a workhorse and he'll get the goals over the season, but if you want a goal, you bring on Danny Ings, go in the penalty box and he's there. He'll get caught out next season, Bamford. So Danny Ings will be the last man, so that's our 26 man squad. Um, somehow Joe Willock's got in there because we're just biased. <laughs> but we have picked a Mackham or two in that England squad, but obviously the Euros are going to come. Quick question who's going to win at Adam? Oh God, um, not England. <laughs> um, outside show for Turkey, but I think France again. I've got a, France have got a really good chance again. Harry, France for me. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, France all day. Yeah, France, France if not Portugal. That's it, everyone. Tada.